Skype people, and we love that this show is live and interactive. In fact, we're always talking to people on Facebook and Twitter, and one of the questions that we asked today is, if you didn't have a cat or a dog, but you wanted a different pet, what kind of pet would you be looking for? And Heather Barker says, it would be a bird. I used to have one when I was a kid. Ashley Walker says she wants a turtle, and as you go down to Wendy Mamoli, she says, chickens, you can hug them and get eggs. And you know what? I'm right there with you, Wendy. We've got some great comments today. You know, we recently took a trip to McDonald Ranch, which is very cool, to find out about some of the unusual animals out there that might make great family pets. Chickens and pigs and goats. Oh, my. Meet Ruffle. Isn't he cute? We're here at McDonald's Ranch, and we've got some fabulous ideas for you as far as animals go. And meet Big Ron. Hi, Big Ron. Hi. I can't even imagine how you got your name. Well, just came upon one day. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to introduce us to three animals that might take the place of Fido or Fluffy. So come on, let's move over. Okay, so for the first animal, you definitely need a pen. Come on. Or a gate would be good in the pen. This guy is beautiful. Tell me about him. Is this a boy? He's a boy. Yeah, he, he's a boy. His okay. name's Bubba. He's purebred Brahma bull, seven months old. Oh my goodness, he's so beautiful. They're, they're not pets for everybody. You want to be able to have good space, you know, backyard, big backyard, a couple acres, you know, where you can raise cattle and, and have pasture and be able to take care of them good. But they're actually really gentle, docile cattle. Yeah. And um, they, they like a lot of attention, a lot of loving. There's one animal that just might be perfect for you and your family. Let's think smaller now. So, Big Run, tell me about this little guy. So well, this is Chocolate. He's a miniature horse. And your miniature horses usually don't get maybe 36, 38 inches tall. Yeah, he's just a little guy. Uh, yeah, they're, they're great for people. A lot of people in the Phoenix area have them in their backyard. I, I know of several, and uh, they make nice pets. They're easy to take care of. They don't require a lot of feed compared to your Bubba over there. <laughs> and uh, But they're they're really nice and docile and, and really nice to have. You raise them right and treat them right, they're going to be nice to you. Now, can little kids ride a pony? or uh, the Smaller kids can. And how long do they live? Oh, a horse will live up into his 20s and sometimes 30s. Oh, good. So mom and dad can take care of them mm -hmm. when the kids exactly. grow up. <laughs> good. All right, let's go a little bit smaller. My goodness, wow, we have so many eggs. Awesome. Well, this is something that the other two don't have, which Whoa. is breakfast. You, you bet you, you got omelets, <laughs> several omelets there. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. <laughs> okay, so I guess he likes to no, eat that they'll, too, they'll right? Eat them. They'll eat them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, nice hairdo. You uh -huh. look like I do in the morning. That's What's that? A, that looks like about like Cruella de Vil there. <laughs> it does. Actually, she's a Polish chicken. Oh, cute. Got their pretty little, little hairdo going on there. Yeah. So what do we need to know about chickens? Well, chickens need quite a bit of care, actually. you got to have a good shelter for them there so then coyotes and stuff don't get them. And, and uh, they'll eat grains, and, and they need to be out where they can peck. How many breakfast eggs do they, like? do they have? Well, today? you can use, she'll lay an egg a day, usually. Yeah, that's good for breakfast. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Thanks so much, Ron. Mm -hmm. Big Ron here at McDonald Ranch with all kinds of information for you if you would like a pet other than a cat or a dog. Oh, that was great fun. Hey, McDonald Ranch, by the way, they have a really cool fall festival right now. And we're going to prof profile some of the places that you can celebrate fall and pick your own pumpkins here on the show tomorrow. So join us for that. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> and the chickens. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, up.